562 meters high, this is Ball's Pyramid. It's the tallest sea stack in the world. It's located 12 nautical miles seaward from Lord Howe Island, and it towers over the Tasman Sea. It's home to many endemic species and threatened species, which are protected here at this impressive World Heritage Site. And that's why we're here. Our plan was to spend time encountering the mysteries of the deep that lies below. The weather window that we'd eagerly been waiting for had arrived and we set sail. We dive it until we're too tired to dive anymore and what we found was far greater than what we could ever have imagined. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface. And see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. to a place called Ball's Pyramid, which is the tallest sea stack in the world. What does that mean? Let's go find out. About 10 nautical miles out, we're heading southeast, and yeah, should get there in a couple of hours. It's just perfect, perfect weather window that we've been waiting for. We have wind today to get us there, and then the wind just completely dies off. We're uh, getting pretty close to Boss Pyramid. This is going to be such an epic dive destination. Just the diving, there's going to be a lot of current diving, drift diving, some deep dives as well, and we're going to be looking for a lot of endemic species, which are only found here. since we started the trip so yes yeah, that's a beautiful day life is wonderful it's me and cookie cookie <laughs> me and cookie. cookie me and ricky are cooking with the best view ever we're making honey pumpkin rice and it's beautiful it's beautiful it's just sheer wall after sheer wall and ball's pyramid about to dive Ball's Pyramid and we're gonna look for a cave that is apparently a cave 20 meters deep and 20 meters long and we're gonna try to find that cave and find some good shots good dive right have fun uh, yeah we're just getting ready to jump in is that, is that helpful yeah. divers ready Dive, 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 d
took her for a ride on the Willow Creek Bridge. She said she could have any dream. He was quick talking with a silver tongue. Crazy planet we live on, guys. This is crazy. How does this exist, huh? It's crazy. One of the most impressive things I've ever witnessed on The whole time we've been here, uh, I've been looking at different lines to climb up Bull's Pyramid. But sadly, it's banned. You get a $10,000 fine if you climb it because of a very, very unique stick insect that lives on the island. It's the only place you can find them in the world and that's why you're not allowed to step foot on the actual rock. But one day, me and Philip will get permission and we'll come back and climb it. The view, the food, the company. Yeah. All amazing. I think what's most amazing is the pesto I made. Oh, Show that's... everybody. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, joking. No, it doesn't compare to this. Somebody to see through. Uh, we're gonna go to do 
you like a night dive. So excited about it. Finding hopefully like this cave again. And yeah, just who knows what we're gonna find. Fingers crossed for a lot of sharks. I Ooh. feel sharky tonight. <laughs> Dive, dive, dive! dive. Oh. <laughs> All good? 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 <laughs> I'm in the atmosphere Closer to the sun I'm thinking queen Learn from the waves They come They crash They go And we'll be going through As much And no Good morning. Last night we had night shifts throughout the night as we are just bobbing off of Bull's Pyramid. We've got the moon above us. It's just so beautiful, it's so peaceful. No one else is awake. There's no wind, but we have the sail up to steady us. Morning! Good morning. Me and Molly are on shift together, so that's exciting, it never happens. It makes me think about what it's going to be like when we have our own group together in the future. It makes me really excited. Last night our night dive was amazing and this morning everyone's getting ready to go for their next day dives. It's gonna be sick. Wow guys, can you see Woo! Oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh wow, look. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. bubble watches and then I'm gonna be getting ready for the second dive as well. I'm really excited actually. Um, it's been it's been magic. It's been so magic. Everyone is such in a really great mood. So the pole feels really energetic. Yesterday was just literally if I need to use one word for describing it, it'll be just magical. So yeah let's see what wonders are waiting for us today. We're going down to the cave again and then we're going to find the bomby. We're specifically looking for the Ballina angelfish, which can only be seen here because the other places in the world where it is, it's 100 meters deep. 
and this is the only place in the whole world where it's shallow enough to easily see. So that's what we're looking for today. Super calm seas, no wind, sun shining, and um, yeah, Philip's only done a few dives. So I'm really excited for Philip to get back in the water, have another dive. Apparently these are as big as craze we'll ever get. It's uh, good to see the, the upper end of the, the scale, I think. Mm -hmm. Very excited to be in the water as well. Um, just to be able to touch the rock here at Ball's Pyramid, even if it's underwater, I think that'll be very special for me. <laughs> we were discussing whether or not it's balina, balina, or balina. I don't know. What about balina? Tomato, Toronto, who knows. Anyway, we just saw the balina, we went with balina, we saw the balina angelfish. This angelfish is in other places in the world, but it's usually, I think, 100 meters deep. But here at Ball's Pyramid, and only here at Ball's Pyramid, not even at Lord Howe, is the Ballina angelfish found in 25 meters of water, which is 75 feet. And um, we got great info from Aaron at Pro Dive on Lord Howe, and he said, hey, if you go right here at this particular balmy on this rock right off of Ball's Pyramid, you'll find that fish. And it did. It was like clockwork, man. Like the, that's why you got to always connect with locals. Uh, dive masters and dive guides and instructors in, in their local area. They know where the good stuff is. So I always try to connect with the people because they'll tell you where it is. I actually saw, I think, a total of three or four of them. And at one point I got two of them. They were dancing around each other. It was pretty, really, really, really cool. So I just, I'm like one of those when in Rome kind of people. Like if you're gonna be here and you can only see that fish here, I'm gonna do everything I can to, to see it, you know? Because you'll never see it again. Anyway, beautiful diving out here. Gorgeous day. Check my main man Phil out. She's good. All right, your mate Ricky. Huh? Your mate Ricky. Oh, yeah, Ricky. Ricky's uh, our new dive master. Yeah. Board. He's doing a good job. Is he the best dive master? He's doing a good yeah, job. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday yeah. he was like, I like just diving with you, Nate, because we can just chill and I don't worry about it. But I was like, that's not what dive masters do, Ricky. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a buddy. You got to watch him and check his hair. Yeah. So, all good, man. Sweet. Yeah, cool. Good dive with you, buddy. Um, because Ball's Pyramid is a sanctuary, so you can't anchor at it. So people don't really come out here at night. <laughs> so we uh, just drifted through the night, uh, took turns on shift, um, just hour long shifts, and um, yeah, now we got it back in our sights, slowly sailing there for surprise. And, do some more scuba diving. I already found in the sweet summer I I just woke up for my shift. It's six in the morning and Nate and Amy are asleep in the dinghy under a giant pile of blankets with Ball's Pyramid in the background. Such a lovely morning. 
Light up the house and lock the door Come out and meet me on the porch Cause I'm, I'm coming home Train your eye on the setting sun No Lord Howe Island is uniquely situated at the crossroads of five major ocean currents. You never really know what to expect to see in the water. Anything could show up in these currents. For the last dive a Ball's Pyramid, Philip and Ricky had an incredibly special visit from none other than a large great white shark. They were performing their safety stop at five meters of depth and were kicking into the blue away from the pinnacle that they had been diving on. With the bottom quickly dropping out of sight, they were surrounded by endless water when our surprise visitor made contact by striking Ricky in his dive tank, shoving him into Philip. Over the next 10 minutes, Philip and Ricky would have one of the most intense moments of their lives, facing off with a great white shark. It circled them, coming in as close as one meter away, multiple times as they completed their safety stop. Finally, when it was safe to do so, they deployed their SMB and called Sylvia to pick them up, who sat 500 meters safely away from the swell that was crashing upon the pinnacle. That was a pretty exciting safety stop. Nevertheless, it was completed, don't worry, no deco. Um, Philip and I were on our great safety stop at in Ball's Pyramid and all of a sudden I thought Nate was playing a prank on me because I felt the big push towards Phil and I look to my right and there's Olmate the great white <laughs> four meter great white just like swimming against us and then just probably where that camera is yeah he just stood there just like staring at us just making eye contact like this we blew up the SMB and we're diving off on Sylvia so we have no dinghies in the water. But luckily we got picked up right away and then I'm not gonna lie, I got at the boat and yeah it was a bit of shock but hey it's a great story. It, it was just such a cool experience, live to tell the tale. Um, great whites are great for one reason and they're they can be pretty scary when they're staring you down so such a beautiful animal, respect their environment, this is their home. We yeah. are just exploring it, we're guests in their home. We just on our way back from Bulls, we've been out there three days. We had four dives, we got to do three day dives and a night dive, which is pretty special out there. We um, do drift dives off the back of Sylvia, which is pretty cool. So we we drive Sylvia like 50 meters off, off the, the rocks that we're diving on and then swing a sharp turn, pull the divers, jump out the back and 45 minutes later we'd go back and pick them up again. So that was a pretty cool experience, not having to drop the dinghies and load everyone to dinghies every time we go for a dive. So, yeah, it was a pretty special three days. So we are just sailing back to Lord Howe Island and we have come across so many dolphins on the bow. Every single time we start sailing or driving, we start to see dolphins. Look at the smiles on these girls' faces. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we set sail to Sydney, but it's safe to say it was not an easy crossing.
the morning yourself. No, it won't let me look. <laughs> oh, the guys don't even allow me to take the morning either. They tell me, we don't need you. Oh, a a specific girl. words. We don't girl. need you. <laughs> Push him. Can you believe that actually? I don't need this. 